You know, one thing that I love, absolutely love about the California Delta is just the vast amount of fish that you can catch in here. And today I'm going after a little bit different of a species. Today, I'm literally just parked right off of the Sacramento River and the salmon are starting to run. Talked to two buddies so far, one that has caught one farther south than where I am and one that has caught one farther north from where I'm at right now. So. We're gonna get out there and just cast for a couple hours. Just got off work. As you can see, I'm still in my work clothes. I uh, was able to, you know, put on a cool Delta hat, but I'm gonna go out there, sling it around for a couple. I'll break down everything that I'm using when I get down to the water, uh, but stay tuned. Hopefully uh, we can hook into a salmon and get some dinner for the table. Stay tuned. I haven't done a mission like this in quite some time. Just pull off on the side of the road, river, net, couple cameras. Man, I hope we can catch one today. Tide looks like it was coming in. Not sure if that's a good thing. I'm pretty new to salmon fishing, only really been doing it for a couple seasons here and there. Um, just kind of to break up the, the time bass fishing. But uh, yeah, we're just walking down the, the freeway right now. <laughs> Gonna find a spot that we can tuck in down here on the river and just uh, cast and cast and cast and hopefully we can get one. Whew. See if there's anybody down here. Nah, we got it all to ourselves. Now, I'm a short man. Do I go over or under? Leave in the comments down below. Yeah. Ah, uh, I'm going under. Going under. Oh, I think I just uh, popped my hip out of place, but uh, it's all good. Not too bad of a little hike. Literally didn't even take the time to put boots on when I got home. Um, so I'm rocking right now on my tennis shoes. Sporting the old Etnies. A little bit of a breeze. Oh yeah. Nice open area. Oh, yes. This is my window. It's gonna be casting over and over again until I uh, hook up with something. Let's get set up. Just got to the first spot. Out here on the Sacramento River, got this little spot all to myself. Now I have been fishing in this spot before and both a buddy of mine and my friend catch fish every time we come here. I have yet to hook up into salmon, on a salmon, into a salmon, whatever, at this spot. So the setup that I'm using today, I've got a llama glass. Um, this is an 8.6, a little bit longer so you can get, you know, get that bait out there a little bit farther. And I'm throwing just the classic fly and see. Um, got it on 12 pound test right now. Um, need a little bit of that stretch. So I got the mono running and uh, hoping, that, hoping that I can connect. Uh, I'm gonna put the big camera down until hopefully I, uh, Hopefully I catch something. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be running the chesty, maybe another camera angle off one of these trees, and hopefully, man, hopefully we can uh, catch a fish. So I'm gonna shut up, stop blabbering, and uh, get to fishing. First cast of many, I am sure. Now, 
setup, an 8.6 Lama glass. This is made for salmon fishing. A little bit longer with a light tip, so you can get that bait out there. Throw it on a 7 to, seven two to 1 Shimano 200 high gear um, with a 12 pound test line. Just got this classic sea spinner. Just gonna throw it out there. See if we can't get bit. First cast didn't go as planned. Gotta get this net set up so that uh, it's ready to go when it's needed. And I'm gonna actually extend it out now so I don't forget. Yeah, that's looking real pretty. Sink down to the bottom there. We'll slow roll it. Low and slow. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Show me some love. I really wish I would have brought some muck boots or something so I could get a little bit farther out, maximize the amount of water that I'm fishing. Been out here for about 30 minutes now without a bite. Um, I did hear some shouting down the way, which I don't know if that means someone got hooked up or they're just happy to be out fishing, but Typically, whenever one person catches a fish out here, then everybody along the bank starts hooking up because that means the school is running through. So right now I'm just casting it out there as far as possible, letting it hit the bottom, and then just slow rolling it in. Um, the tide is looks like it's just about maxed out. I know you guys can't probably see, but I typically stand on that rock right there. Um, that's why I kind of wish I brought some muck boots out so that I could get a little bit farther but it's the name of the game just low and slow bouncing it off the rocks and hope that a hope that a salmon just comes up and eats it because I need some dinner man I need some good healthy delta dinner come on fish come on All right, time check. It is 6.15. I have been out here for just a little bit over an hour without a bite. Um, it's high tide right now. Don't know if that's the best tide to fish at all. Um, just kind of out here, just giving it my best wang dango, hoping for a good bite. Um, there's actually a guy out here in a kayak right now. No, you can't probably see him, but he's out there in the, in the middle jigging in an area that I can't really get to. And I haven't seen him hook up yet, but... Uh, Maybe being out in the middle and jigging is the way to go. So I'm gonna put you guys down and get back to casting. That one got out there nice and far. That was probably like a freaking 80 yard cast right there. Let's hope it's good enough. Definitely can tell that there's a deeper hole out there in the middle of the river. Takes a little bit longer for my bait to get down. Slow roll back in, baby. Now I only have one more flying C. Um, I didn't have a chance to go to the store and buy a couple more, but just have one other. So if I break off, I only got one other opportunity. So let's hope for hope for that not to happen. Hope for me to hook up into something. First time casting. Grab 
bass or what? Something. Definitely not a fish, because it would not be this easy. Nothing, what the heck? That felt like something. Gosh darn it. If that was, that was the gayest hook set that has ever lived in salmon fishing. Goodness. Might have just been me. Oh, what do I got? Look at this. Freaking, freaking bass. What? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Didn't go home empty handed. Look at that. Heck yeah. <laughs> Did not expect that. Um, I hope that that wasn't the bite that I felt, but man, just a fat little fish. All right, let's get this guy released. Thanks for playing, little buddy. <laughs> right under that rock. Just had first blood of the day. A little bit over an hour in, and uh, I thought I felt a little bump, and it ended up being a little freaking largemouth. Just uh, ate the flying sea right at the shore. Did not expect that. Thought I got bit by a salmon, but nope, just a little largemouth, man. It, I just, just can't get away from them, you know? But no, we're gonna get back to fishing. We probably have about an hour, hour and a half before it gets dark, um, and I'm gonna head back in, but man, I hope that this last glory hour is what does it. If not, We'll be out here again and I'll make sure to catch some dinner. Oh, come on, kid, we gotta stop doing that. Lost the first one. Poop. Right at the freaking shore, too. Luckily, I got one more in the bag. That's the last one, so if I lose that one, I don't know what we're gonna do. All right, back to it. Time to make the walk of shame. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Oh, not a complete failure. Not a complete failure. All right, just got back to the truck. You know, 
wasn't a complete failure of a day. It was gorgeous out here. It was fun to just come out and cast a couple lines, hoping for a fish. Didn't come away empty handed. I caught that one small largey like you guys saw. Did see some fish. Um, I did see some salmon kind of surface and just kind of roll over. So I know I'm in the right area. I know there's fish around here. Maybe I hit it at the wrong tide, but I'm just gonna keep coming out here in hopes to, to catch one on film because when you catch one of these freaking behemoths, man, it's so much fun. It just rips drag like there's no tomorrow. 12 pound test feels so, so crazy to catch a salmon on. I'll leave a link to last year's video right here so you guys can see the mayhem that went down. Uh, last year we hooked up into a good one and uh, we actually forgot the net. It was pretty crazy, I just bear hugged it and threw it in the boat. Hopefully we get something like that coming up here shortly. Thanks for watching guys. You know, I bring you along when I do well. I bring you along when it's, it's tough. And today uh, we only had a couple hours and we did not connect with the fish. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that little notification bell so you're notified right away when videos come out like this. Sometimes YouTube algorithm will just bury my videos and you'll never see them. So make sure you hit the bell and uh, remember, today was true. Any cast could be a giant. Peace.